A fierce fight over shoddy construction continues for homeowners at this Bradenton condo complex. And now two homeowners are wrapped up in a lawsuit. One reason is an attention getting signed that's plastered to the back of a truck. Eight on your side, Shannon Bacon explains the new conflict in this ongoing saga. Homeowners in Willowbrook are fed up living like this. Their homes were constructed so poorly that balconies are falling off and mold is deep within the walls. They blame their builder, KB Home, and are trying to force KB to buy back their condos. Many of the residents have even taken up investigating what went wrong with construction as a hobby. I've been uh, using my website to keep homeowners and government officials educated into uh, the, the ongoing construction activity in Willowbrook. Homeowner Andrew Smith runs the website, thekbhome.com, out of his garage. Residents post news stories about their troubles and note anything they find suspicious. But some of that material has landed Smith and another resident in a defamation lawsuit. I feel that it's a slap suit. It's being done to intimidate me, and I have done no wrongdoing, and I will be cleared in the court of law. The lawsuit filed by Dual Construction based in Riverview alleges Smith posted defamatory statements about the company's owners. At question is material posted on the site about one of Dual's owners past felony drug conviction. No one with Dual would comment for this story, but the suit says the website hurt the company's business. Also named in the suit is one of Willowbrook's most vocal residents, Armando Oola Delgado. He plastered this sign advertising the conviction on the back of his truck. Both residents say they question why this company was hired for the project, which could cost tens of millions. They're not happy with the construction progress. It took just a couple of months to build these buildings from scratch years ago, but now the repairs have been underway for seven months and it doesn't look like they're anywhere near complete. Smith says he did nothing wrong because the information he posted is true. He says the conviction is relevant because it raises questions about the owner's character. In Bradenton, Shannon Bankin, 8 on your side. This lawsuit seeks damages exceeding $15,000. Both residents say they plan to fight the suit. The information in question is still on the website, and Delgado says he does not plan to take his sign off of his truck anytime soon.